Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gaming 4. This is Nate here today with another Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clickable menu system. In the last episode I showed you how to make a menu system using keys and in this episode I'm going to show you one where you can click on it or tap on it if you are using touchscreen devices. So um, this is what it looks like. It's super simple. Just click play, it goes to the playroom. Click X, it goes to the X room. I'm going to show you how to change your hitboxes of your buttons, and I'm going to show you uh, different ways you can set up your buttons to do different things. Uh, it's very simple, doesn't take very long, and it's way easier than the last one we did. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I really hope it helps you a lot. If you have any questions or any troubles, make sure you do leave a comment. Okay guys, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and import our sprites. So I'm just going to have a play button and a back button. In the last episode, I did not show you how to make a back button to go back in the rooms, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you in this episode. It's super easy. So I'm going to call this SPR play button. And then I'm just going to go ahead and import that. Uh, I've, this is just stuff I've made in the past for other games. Uh, there we go, play. Then I'm going to go ahead and center that with the uh, or the origin, that's what it's called. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and right click and create another sprite and call this one SPR Back Button. Right, again. There we go, and center that. Alrighty, so now that is our two sprites for right now. I'm going to go ahead and create the rooms now. We're going to have two rooms. We're going to have one that is the menu room and one that is the actual play room where you would put the first level or whatever you want it to go after you click the play button. Alright, so I'm going to call this RM menu. And I'm fine with the gray background. And there we go. Alright, and then right click create room again. And this one's going to be called RM play. I'm going to go ahead and change the background color of this one to blue so that I can tell the difference whenever the rooms are changing. So let's go ahead and create our objects now. We're going to create two objects, one for the play button and one for the back button. And I'm also going to show you other ways you can do different types of buttons in just a minute. I'm going to call this OBJ uh, play button here. And there we go. Set the sprite. If you don't know how to do that, click on it and choose your sprite. It's very simple. Add event, mouse, left press. That is gonna, uh, whenever you press the left mouse button, it is going to call all of these actions. So we're gonna go to control and drag in some code right here. This is very simple, super easy. It's called room go to. Close that off, and then you put in the parentheses the room you want to go to, and I'm going to say go to room, play. Now, I believe that the left press button also works as a tap on the phone for those of you that are making this for, uh, say, uh, uh, if you're going to make it for Windows Phone or. Where's the other phone? Oh, well, I don't need to fool with that right now. But that's what, how you do that, and say you want to make an exit button, so basically you just have a different sprite, instead of saying play on it, it would say exit, or whatever. Uh, if you wanted to close the game, that would just be game, underscore, end, close the parentheses. That's all you gotta do, closes the game. There's many, many other things you can do with this, like there's all kinds of these things. Uh, just look through here. Uh, there's also a very nice help system with Game Maker if you want to look for the specific command you want your button to do. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and also create the object, right click create object for uh, our exit button. I'm going to call that OBJ exit button, of course. And set the sprite to back button. And once again, I'm just going to do left press, but you can also, if you want to do key press for escape. I find that makes a good uh, makes a good back button if you're using computer. Uh, once again, drag in some code, and this one is a back button. So if we're already in room play, when we click the back button, we want to go back to the menu. So we're going to say room go to 
and then the parentheses, I'm going to put on menu. Right, so let's go ahead and go into our rooms now. On our menu, we're going to make a, uh, a big old play button. So we're going to go to objects tab, and it's already selected play button. Just make a nice big play button right there in the middle. And obviously, you can add titles and make your menu look much nicer. But this is just for tutorial purposes. I'm not actually using this in any sort of game, so I don't really need it. So, and then I'm going to go into room play and put the back button. This is where you select the objects. And I'm just going to make a big one in the center. Whoops. But uh, if I was doing this in the actual game, I'd probably put it up here and shrink it down a little bit. But I'm just going to make a big one right there. And also, another thing to do, if you want to change the shape of the click box or tap box that uh, you're able to click on the button, you can go to Modify Mask right here. And, uh, and the mask is what does it. So if I wanted it to specifically have round edges, if I was that OCD, I'll click precise and it normally should uh, go there. And then you can also choose ellipse or diamond, you know. Just fool with it and get what you like. Um, or you can do the full image, manual, whatever. I just do rectangle is fine for these kind of buttons. Okay, let's go ahead and run it and see how well that works. Okay, so now it's opened up and we just have our big play button. I'm going to click on that. We have our big X button to go back. Simple enough, guys. That's all how it works. And what I'm going to be doing in the next tutorial, what I have planned at least, unless something else comes up for a different tutorial, uh, I'm going to do room transitions. So like when you click play, it's going to fade to black and fade back into the next room. It looks really nice. And uh, there's a lot of other tutorials to do different types of fade things. Uh, you can make it fade to a picture. You can make it pretty much do anything. Uh, it's very nice. It looks makes it look very nice and clean. And I use it in pretty much any kind of game that I'm making, where if you're walking through doors, any kind of thing like that. Room transitions, just perfect. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in the next episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want more gaming tutorials then please go subscribe to our channel and check out our gaming videos and check out my other Game Maker tutorials. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.